Europe is not small, and it is a very interconnected continent with an advanced economy that rivals that of the USA and China. The most important route for freight in Europe is the 3,100-mile Scandinavian Mediterranean Corridor, which represents a crucial north-south axis for the European economy. This complex corridor represents a massive and rather old giga project that stretches from Finland and Sweden in the north to the island of Malta in the south, taking in Denmark, northern, central, and southern Germany, the industrial heartlands of northern Italy, and the southern Italian ports. A very crucial section of this corridor is currently being replaced by a more efficient system that involves the construction of the massive and one-of-a-kind underwater tunnel called the Feymarn Belt, which will connect Germany and Denmark, taking a shortcut right across the Feymarn Belt Strait. Stay tuned for all the details of Europe's largest and most expensive construction project, the Feymarn Belt Tunnel, a world wonder in the making. When the Danish and German people heard of the Feymarn Belt Tunnel and its $8 billion cost, they scratched their heads and wondered whether it was necessary. The Dans in particular were concerned since their government volunteered to foot about seven of the $8 billion needed for the mega project. However, once the benefits of this tunnel were explained to the masses, the majority became supporters of the massive mega project. Only environmentalists remained stubborn, which was a good thing because their concerns and legal threats forced the project financiers to provide guarantees that there will be no damage to the environment and the notoriously clean waters of the strait and surrounding waters or the wildlife and marine ecosystems in the surrounding area. So before we go into the mega details of this immense unique project, let's take a quick look at its benefits. Unlike sea ferries and bridges, the Feymarn Belt Tunnel will be open 24 hours a day because it will not be affected by wind or harsh weather conditions. When the Feymarn Belt Tunnel with its electrified railway is completed in 2029, it will offer a shortcut for the transport of rail freight and passengers between Denmark and other Nordic countries to Central Europe. The rail journey through the tunnel will take only 7 minutes by train, avoiding a more than 100 miles detour via the Danish mainland. The tunnel will also accommodate car traffic. It will also free up capacity on roads and railways. Switching the transport of freight from lorries to environmentally friendly electric trains will also be more attractive as it will cut CO2 emissions. The journey time for train passengers between Copenhagen and Hamburg will also be cut from four and a half hours to under two and a half. The construction of the tunnel will create several thousand jobs at the construction sites and with the subcontractors. The contractors have also committed to the establishment of at least 500 full-time apprenticeships. In a nutshell, the tunnel will transform European travel, reduce CO emissions, cut travel time, create jobs, and reinforce the EU as a major global industrial and business hub. When the tunnel is completed in 2029, it will be both the longest combined road and rail tunnel and the longest immersed tunnel anywhere in the world. Officially known as the Feymarn Belt Fixed Link, the 11-mile-long tunnel linking Germany and Denmark will sit in a trench at the bottom of the Baltic Sea at an average depth of about 130 feet. The mega-project, which has already begun and is advancing at a rather fast pace, is a true engineering marvel and quite fascinating. The immersed tunnel will be built in segments on land in a massive, specially built factory, then transported via boats and finally connected together under the sea during immersion. A total of 79 standard-sized concrete elements, each 712 feet long and weighing 162,000 pounds, and additional 10 smaller segments, will make up the tunnel. Each element will contain two tubes for the highway, two for the railroad, and one for service access, and will also include a sublevel for communication, electricity, and fiber optics lines, among other technologies. As you can imagine, lots of dredging is involved in order to establish the underwater trench. To date, approximately 75% of the dredging has been completed. All of the soil, sand, and rock produced by the dredging is being removed and moved to create new land and beaches near the construction site. The trench is expected to produce a total of 671 million cubic feet of soil, sand, and rock. Specially designed dredging vessels conduct the dredging operation. In the coastal areas, dredging barges with backhoes are deployed. Out in the deeper waters, so-called grab dredgers and sand suckers are used. The preparatory work on the necessary harbor and tunnel factory began in 2020, and the actual construction work began on January 1, 2021. A huge construction site has been prepared with water, 
electricity, water channels, and access roads to facilitate work by the various contractors. Around the construction site, three miles of cycling paths and footbridges have been built to ensure that cyclists and pedestrians can easily and safely bypass the massive site during construction. The corporation Femern AS, which is owned by the Danish Ministry of Transportation, was tasked with planning the construction. In December 2022, it signed a contract with the Spanish firm Elecnor for the construction of a transformer station in Rodbyhaven in Denmark. This station will be one of the largest facilities of its kind in Denmark. It will supply power for the Feymarn Belt Tunnels Railway and seven miles of railway on Lolland, as well as the tunnel's electrical installations, such as lighting and ventilation. On the Danish side, a harbor is being built to facilitate the tunnel construction phase. This harbor will facilitate the delivery of raw materials such as stone, sand, gravel, cement, and steel by sea, instead of land to the construction site. Furthermore, the harbor will be responsible for shipping out the finished massive tunnel elements. On the German side at Puttgarden, a smaller harbor has been built to transport raw materials during the construction of the tunnel portal. Next to the Danish harbor, the tunnel factory is being built. In this massive factory, elements for the tunnel will be produced. The tunnel factory at Rodbyhaven will cover approximately 3.3 million square feet and have six production lines for the standard and special elements that are the heart of the tunnel construction. Slightly west of this massive production facility, a large modern accommodation area was built for the tunnel workers, together with office and administration facilities. The tunnel portals have already been built in both Denmark and Germany. The portals connect the tunnel's railway and motorway with the upgraded and newly built roads and railways in the hinterland. Work on the construction site for the tunnel portal on the Danish side started in 2020 and on the German side the following year. Work on the tunnel portal itself started in 2022. Both portals are almost complete. All of this means that the tunnel factory will begin rolling out the massive tunnel segments within months. In fact, the new harbors are already preparing for the arrival of 70,000 tons of construction materials per week starting in December 2023. Contrary to what many people think, the process of making the building-sized tunnel elements is not simple and it involves surgical precision step-by-step -step casting since there is no space for errors and the margins are extremely small. A high degree of uniformity and quality in the casting must be ensured because it takes place inside climate-controlled halls. This is important as the Feymarn Belt Tunnel is designed to operate for at least 120 years and to withstand earthquakes. Once an element is ready for shipment, it gets waterproof bulkheads fitted at both ends and is towed into place using tugs. The elements are then lowered to the seabed with high precision and are carefully coupled together. There is a sealed space between the bulkheads so that huge external pressure pushes them together when the water is pumped out. This ensures a completely waterproof connection. Once the elements are assembled, work on the tunnel's technical and mechanical installations can begin. These include railway tracks, ventilation, cameras, communication systems, signage, painting, and many more things. All systems will be thoroughly inspected and tested in the final part of the construction phase prior to the expected opening in mid-2029. We do not know about you, but we are extremely excited and cannot wait to go for a trip from Germany to Denmark once the tunnel is open to explore this new magnificent modern engineering wonder and check out some tourist sites while at it. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, share, and do subscribe as we will continue to take you on positive journeys about some of the most fascinating, massive, daring, progressive, and futuristic mega-projects from around the world.